Hi, this is Ilma Art Studios photograph for today. Those are rhinos that I took in the African Lion Safari in Canada, in Ontario. Hi, check my website for more artworks and photographs at ilmaarts.com. Today I'd like to share with you my poem devotional extracted from Mark 5, 36 and thir uh, 34 and 36. It says, Daughter, your fate has bade you well. Go in peace. Your suffering is over. Don't be afraid. Just have faith. And here's my poem. Faith heals. Are you sowing doubts and fear? When you do, you'll shed more tears. Believe strongly in God's power. You will surely make the devil cower. Your faith will surely bring healing. If you trust much, you finish suffering. Don't be afraid, just believe in Christ. You will be transformed and will see the light. Here's my essay. My son almost died of asthma when he was four years old. I brought him on a healing crusade because I was so tired of going in and out of hospitals since he was born. I witnessed thousands of people being healed from cancer and those who are in stretchers are actually, were actually able to walk after the healing crusade. It was an amazing experience to witness so much people who put their trust in God. I would say that the amount of faith that people had was also the amount of healing they got. My son never had an asthma flare-up since that day. He is now 28 years old. There are so many stories in the Bible that shows that faith heals. Abraham, Daniel, Mary, the woman bleeding, David, and many more. Prayer. Lord, shower me with more faith in you. Reflection. What miracles have you experienced because of your great faith? Well, as I mentioned earlier in, in my essay, that uh, that's one of the miracles that happened when I brought my son there and I had so much faith that God will help me. And um, throughout my life, I went through so much trauma and abuse, but I had faith that God will finally deliver me from all of those generational sins that I inherited from my, from my uh, um, forefathers. Um, the biggest leap of faith that I took was to come to, come to Canada and um, marry my first husband, who I just met on the internet. But I guess God used that uh, point of my desperation and my loneliness to transport me here, because it is here that He brought healing to my life. So I went through a lot in my first marriage. It was really um, a very abusive marriage and um, it was it actually um, brought me back to all my traumatic experiences as a child. So um, it God used that um, that starting point so that he will he could strip me of all the things that I was clinging to and when I was stripped of it, that's when he worked on uh, on my faith. Like he he grew my faith because there was nothing else that I, I I can cling to except him. So when I believed and I trusted him more, there's more miracles that happen in my life um, because of so many generational sins that I that didn't get revealed to me until later on when I became um, saved or born again. That is the only time that um, everything is out in the, in the light and then God has healed me. So thanks for watching and I hope that you will believe that God can heal you or that can save you or, or can do a miracle in your life. Have a wonderful day and God bless.